the next five wanna give you a solution. Right now, today, that five is up. There's no more giving you lies. You're not average. You're not black. You're not Jamaican. You're from the 12 times of Israel. So we're supposed to give a warning. We're not judging you, we're warning you. What have we seen any change? No. Have we seen anything that has changed our people? Changed our neighborhood? Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you something, Juan. Watch this. Verse 15. Deuteronomy 28. Verse 15. Hey, Juan, listen good. Listen good. Right now, you're going to get a little history lesson. How old are you? 17, all right, so, so what, you about to graduate high school? All oh, praise all right. We're gonna see if you ever learned this in your history class. We done. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. God says that the Israelites were supposed to keep all of his commandments. For some reason, we didn't do it. And because of that reason, we don't. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. Is a curse good or bad, one? Curse is bad. If I put a curse on you, that means I wish harm against you. God says that a certain people on the earth was going to be cursed for breaking his laws. All right? Now watch this. Jump to verse 68. We're going to get right to it. Read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt is synonymous for slavery, for bondage. God says a certain people is going to be cursed and taken into slavery on what? With ships. On slave ships. Did that happen to the Aztecs? Yes, it did. Right. Yes, it did. Did it happen to the Mayans? Yes, it did. Did it happen to the, what was the other one? In the Incas? Yes, it did. Right. The people on this side of the earth, they went into slavery first. Right. In 1492. That bag with the blue, the blue, uh, we, we, we Israelites. Two bags back That's you, right. You are an Israelite. Right. Juan, you are Israelite. We the same people. We the same people. But in order for us to get right in the eyes of God, Juan, is we got to keep his laws. His commandments, right? So you know you know about God's commandments, right? So so name me some commandments. I steal, right? Should I kill? Not for the kill, okay. What else? Right, what else? Right, so let me ask you, let's deal with that. You celebrate Halloween? You celebrate Christmas? Thanksgiving? Birthdays? What if I told you all those were other gods, Juan? Right. Christmas is in the Bible. You know that? Christmas in the Bible? Let's read that. Let's read that. Okay. We are here for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. So we're going to read something that you just, we can't worship other gods, Juan. Watch this, Jeremiah 10. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. Oh, house of Israel. Because why you were Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Right. Not by spirit, but by blood. That's right. By flesh. That's right. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. The so-called Mexicans today are from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. Read on. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. What is a heathen, Juan? Nope. What is a heathen? Yeah, you're from the tribe of Issachar. Your forefather is Issachar, one of the 12 sons of Jacob. What is a heathen, Juan? A heathen is a people not of God. A heathen, you know, a heathen nationality-wise is a people that God didn't choose. That's a heathen. Now watch this, Juan. God says, don't follow the ways of the heathens. The Chinese, the white man, the Asian man, the Russians, all the other nations are heathens. The only people are your people are the people on this side, Juan. That's right. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's they right. are your people. 
No other, no other nationality could be your people. This is your people. And God says, don't follow the way of the heathen. Read on. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. So God says, don't follow those horoscopes. Uh, what, what's the other one? And, and, and trying to count the stars and name the stars. God said, don't do that. For the heathens do that. Read on. For the customs of the people are vain. So now we're going to go over a custom that the heathens do that God told us not to do. Read on. For one, cut a tree out of the forest. So God says this custom, the people go in the forest and they cut a tree. They, they cut a tree. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. So I mean, they, they get an axe, they cut a tree down. Read. They deck it with silver. So they deck this tree with silver. Read. And with gold. So they deck the tree that they cut out the forest with silver and with gold. Read. They fasten it with nails and with heavens that it move not. So they take it home, one, and they stand it up upright so it don't move. And they put gold and silver decorations on it. Read that again. They are upright as the palm tree. Back then it was the palm tree, but today we use the evergreen tree. Right. Read on. But speak not. So, Juan, I want, I want, I want to ask you something, Juan. What does that sound like? Sound just like Christmas. Right. God says that's the way of the heathen. That's so right. Christmas, Juan. Remember, it's a car. Right? It wasn't keeping Christmas, Juan. The Aztecs wasn't keeping Christmas. Right. So who told us Christmas? No. Huh? Who told us Christmas? Who was the evil? Who was the wicked? Who was Satan? Bring it out. Who was the devil, Juan? Bring it out. You just named four four attributes of the same person, the That's same right. nation, uh, nation of people. I'm gonna tell you who did it. Hold that sign up. The conquistadors and the Spaniards, they taught they taught you Christmas. The conquistadors, they took the Aztec and Aztecs into slavery. They took the Mayans into slavery. They took the Incas into slavery. You see the door? They burnt. Oh. Right. They beheaded us. They took our babies and smashed them against rocks. They cut your noses off. They, they cut your hands off. They did all those things, man. Right? They did all that. Now, now watch this. Watch this, Juan. What up here? What is he holding up? So who taught the uh, who taught the Aztecs Christianity? Remember, 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 Juan. Juan, remember. That's your forefather. One of your forefathers was tied to a stake and died, right, Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our forefather was tied to the stake and burnt alive because he didn't want to accept Christianity. Our forefathers. If he was alive today, he will be pissed off at us, Juan. Because now we, we, we love the cross. We willingly celebrate Christmas. We willingly celebrate Christianity. Our enemies which is the so-called white man, what taught us Christmas, right. taught us Christianity, taught us Jehovah Witness, taught us our Seventh-day Adventists, taught us all those things. What you say? Taught us all those things. Right. right? Now read that again. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word. Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. For what cut they tree out of the forest? The work of the hands of the work. Hey, Juan, listen up, Juan. Because right now we're going over Christmas. We're going over a heathenist custom that our people do willingly today. Read that again. Read verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 10. Verse uh, yeah, you could. You could. You could. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. Oh, house of Israel. Which you are, Juan, from the tribe of what? What tribe are you from? It's a call. That's right. An Israelite. That's right. God says, hear these words. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So who taught us Christianity? Who taught us Christmas, Juan? You know. Who are the heathen? Right. The conquistadors, the Spaniards, all the other nations that are not 
uh, uh, children of God. Right. right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we are the people of God. Right. The heathens taught us Christmas. The heathens told us to be a Baptist, to be a Jehovah Witness, to be a Catholic. Why do you think the majority of so-called Mexicans are Catholic? That's because that's the religion that the conquistadors came with. Right. The religion that the, 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 the Europeans came with to Haiti and, and, and Jamaica was Christianity. Baptist. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, 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 Pentecostal. There we go. Seventh-day Adventists. Get a uh, number 15. Get number 15. So should we celebrate Christmas one? So you'll say Christmas? Now you all praises. All praises. Now you know that. That's not of God, man. That's right. Christmas is not of God. Christmas is not of God. Who is that on that song, man? Right here. Who is that? Oh, the, the bottom one. Who is that? Supposedly. So so why you say supposedly? So why? What if we show you in the Bible? that we know the color of Christ. Bring it out. Bring it out. Hey, the brother say bring it out. Bring it out. <laughs> Reverse what? Yeah, the brother say bring it out. All praises, bro. Reverse what? Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the book starts off with the revelation, meaning the revealing. What does it mean to reveal? What does it mean to reveal, one? Right. To show. It means to show. Read verse 13. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candles in the candlestick, was light unto the Son of Man. So he's talking about Jesus Christ, the Son of Man. Yeah. Jesus Christ, read. Clothed with a garment. So Jesus had a body. He had a garment on. Clothed with a garment, read. Down to the foot. So John the Revelator is letting you know what he saw, who he saw was Christ. Right. He saw the body. He didn't see a spirit. He saw the body of Christ with a garment on. Read. And girt about the pops with a golden girdle. So Christ had him a golden girdle. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. So the Bible say, John the Revelator say, he, does, he described him with the revealing. You reveal the image of Christ. And Christ's head and his hairs were white like wool. Is that white woolly hair? He said he had woolly hair like sheep. Like this brother, me. Your people have woolly hair. Right. This is stringy uh Labrador retriever hair. Right. That ain't woolly. No, is it white? So that's strike one, Juan. Strike one. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his feet. If you took your socks off, is your feet purple? What color is your feet? So your color of your feet is the same. It's not Caucasian as one. I want you to get out your hair right now. Right. Caucasian is a nationality. Right. right. Your color of your feet will be the same color as your body. Would you right. agree? Right, one? Yeah, right. Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass. So the Bible says Christ had brass feet. What color is brass? Brass, like a penny. What does a penny? Like brown is a is a derivative of brown. If you if if you if you look at hey, if you look at a penny, it's brown. Different right. shades of brown. Say right. Christ had brass feet, but it's gonna clear it up though. Watch this. As if they burn in a furnace. Christ said his feet was so dark. Like yeah, that's the image of the beast. Yes, we, hold on, hold on. We go, we gonna show you how we know that. But read that again. And his feet like unto fire brass, as if they burn in a furnace. What color? Would anything be if you burn it, boy? No. Remember the color, the color. The same was so dark, like you burned in a. Remember, he's talking about his feet. He's given the the revealing of the color of Christ. The image of Christ. He said it was so dark like it burned in a furnace. Christ was a black man, Juan. That's right. Christ was not a Caucasian man, Juan. Right. 
Christ was a black, he is a black man. Read it again. In his feet, like a spot. One, one, one. Why, why can't you believe that one? Why, why, why can't you believe that? I'm gonna tell you what it is, one. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna be real with you. It's because you hate yourself. Right. I'm, I'm gonna tell you straight, bro. You can't, you can't fathom the thought of your the, the greatest man on the earth is a black man. Right. One, listen, good. We're gonna read out the scriptures, one. Let's read it again. And it's me. King James Version, show it to him. King James Version. It's in, it's in every Bible in the church. It's in every single Bible. Hell, even every translation of the Bible, it tells you Christ was black. Right. Read it again. And it's feet like a to burn bread. As if they burn. They what? If they burn. If they what? If they burn. Come on. In a furnace. Christ was so dark like he burnt in a furnace. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that thing. I'm going to get that next. Get that in Daniel. Read 7. 7 and 9, then we're going to jump to Christ. I'm going to show you even the Heavenly Father is a black man. Right? That's right. Even the God Almighty is a black man. Right. The God that created the heavens and universe is a black man. That's right. Juan, listen good. Hey, hey, you're not protecting me, Juan. these verses down so he can access lying pastor while they say the image of Christ don't matter right. that's right why they say oh the image of Christ don't matter right. but in every church it's the white image right. no the Bible says he's black that's right watch this the book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 9 I be held to the thrones were cast down uh -huh. in the ancient of day the ancient of days is talking about the God Almighty. Right. The Father. He was before the days were. With Revelation. Now, write it down. What? Revelation chapter 1, verse 14 through 16. Hey, give him a good pen. That, that pen work? Revelation chapter 1, verse 14 through 16. What? Revelation chapter 1, 14 through 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to learn today, man. Right. Daniel 7 and 9. You're going to learn the day one. Right. <laughs> you an Israelite, That's according right. to the Bible. That's right. Daniel 7, verse 6 through 9. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Verse 9. Daniel 7, verse 9. Sorry. Daniel 7, verse 9. You will come out the matrix today. That's right. <laughs> Read what you got. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down. In the ancient of days. The ancient of days was talking about the most high God. Talking about the heavenly father. He is before the days are. Read. Did sit. So the, even the father has a body. He sat. How you going to sit without a butt? He sat. He sat on the throne like he always is. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. So the father had a body. Juan. Read on. And the hair. And the hair. Of his head. Like the pure. Wool. The Most High God has woolly hair. That's right. Who has woolly hair today, Juan? Yeah. We, hey, the people on this side got woolly hair, Juan. That's right. All the tribes got woolly hair, Juan. So who, who, what color was the Most High? What color was God? Oh. <laughs> what color was God, Juan? Oh. <laughs> Hey, hey, Juan, 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 just listen, just listen, just listen. The most High was a black man. He had woolly hair, Juan. You don't want to believe it, but you're going to believe it. You're going to have to. Either you're going to believe it or you're going to die. Hey, Juan, let me tell you something. Either you're going to repent as an Israelite or you're going to die as an Israelite. It don't matter. Whether you call yourself Mexican or Issachar, if you ain't keeping God's laws, you're going to be put to death, Juan. Watch this, uh, John 7, 38. John 7, 38. You love God? It's somewhere else. It's in another book. Do you love God? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Juan, I'm asking. You love Jesus, right? So what's wrong with loving a black Jesus? That's right. Oh, no, 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 Juan. You said, oh, man, no, no way. I can't believe that. No. We read it on the Bible, Juan. Right. 
have your pastor ever read you that image of the Bible? When have your pastor ever read you Christ was white? Right. Nobody in the church ever said, oh no, I, there's no way, I, I can't believe you. Nope. Well, it's pictures everywhere. Nobody never questioned that one. Huh? <laughs> get, get out of Hebrews, man. Get out of Hebrews. Watch this. Hey, I'm going to show you something, one. I'm going to show you something. Get out of Hebrews. Watch this. Watch this, one. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Nope. Jesus ain't no damn Irishman. Right. right. Read that. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. That's right. Judah. Christ was a Jew. Right. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Christ is a Jew from the tribe of Judah. He's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's No. He's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. He did drink wine, Juan. He did drink wine, Juan. Oh, man. I know what you're talking about, but you're wrong and you're right at the same time. I'll read that. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. To the morning, and the gates do our language. They are black. They are black. The Bible said the Jews are black, man. Get uh, John 7:38. John chapter 7, verse 38. Hey, Warren, watch this. He that believeth on me. Believe in God. You believe in Christ? Well, Christ said, if you really believe on me, as the scripture has said, if you believe in Christ, guess what? You gotta believe that he was a black man. If you believe in God, you gotta believe that Jesus was a black man. Well, you gotta believe he's a black man. That's a good black man. You gotta believe. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Does God love everybody? God love everybody? What if I told you he didn't love everybody? What if I showed you he didn't? Okay. Joel 227. You been baptized right now, boy. <laughs> you been baptized with the word of God. Wait. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God oh. says he's in the midst of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American and uh, uh Native American Indians. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. God says he's in the midst of Israel, read. And that I am the Lord, your God. God says he's the God of Israel. And none else. What does none else mean? If I said one, I love you and I don't love nobody else. What does that mean? Only. So how could I love everybody if I only love one person? That makes no sense. Right. They call it every again. Joel. Chapter 2, verse 27. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye. Oh, hey, why, why? Hold on, why? I don't believe God is black. You don't believe God is black? Hey, that's fine. Hey, what I'm going to tell you? I'm going to tell you, bro. You've been brainwashed to believe that black men can't be worth more than nothing than what they are. I'm, I'm going to tell you what that is. I'm, I'm going to tell you why. You only understand that you're the greatest people on the earth. That's right. We're so low, there is no way that we can believe that the greatest man that ever walked the earth looked like us. The greatest man that ever walked the earth was a black man. But because of slavery, because of forgetting who we are, we say, ain't no way I can believe that. Ain't no way that's true. God is a black man. Jesus Christ was a black man. Every prophet in the Bible was a black man. That's right. All the Jews in the Bible were black. So why don't we believe this? We don't believe this because we fell so far. We have forgotten our heritage. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, it's our time to wake up out of sleep. That's right. Salvation is only for you. Right. And we must repent and come back to the laws of God. Shalom, this is I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC.
to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.